Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I am your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for live tweet updates of the games and of course breaking news as well. Please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app on the App Store and use the promo code Sense Talk to save twenty dollars off your first purchase. The links are in the description below. Before we get into the Sanders twenty nineteen twenty season preview, I want to wish everyone that's celebrating uh, Rosh Hashanah a Shana Tova, a Happy New Year. Um, to everyone celebrating, have a Happy New Year, a Shana Tova. Now the twenty nineteen twenty season is about to begin. Again, for the Ottawa Sanders, the first game is in two days in Toronto at the Scotiabank Arena. It's kind of weird to say that. At 7 p.m. Eastern Time versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, in order, we're going to go firstly look at the injured players heading into the season. Then the opening night roster. Uh, notable cuts uh, that have been sent to Belleville. Uh, the expectations for the season. Uh, the first game, we're going to break that down. And we're going to talk about the lineup potentially for that game as well. So, let, firstly, let's get to the injured players. So, we all know uh, early on in the uh, training camp, Christian Milanin fell on, uh, awkwardly on the ice, got some surgery, four months at, at the very least. He's out. Hopefully, he will be sooner, but he, he's looking at a January to February return. Rudolph Balser has a knee injury, four to six weeks, he's out as well. Now, the opening night roster, some notable names cut, some notable and some interesting names kept. So, firstly, Artem Anisimov, acquired from Chicago, is on it. Drake Batherson has made the team high expectations for Drake Batherson, some saying even a Calder Trophy season potentially. Uh, Mikhail Bodker could be the 13th forward. Connor Brown acquired in that Cody CC trade. Philip Schlappick has made the team for the first time. Um, he's already scored a goal in the National Hockey League, but this, this is the first time Philip Schlappick has made the opening night roster. I'm excited to see what he can do uh, depending on the role he's given. Anthony Duclair, this is a huge year for him. Uh, his really, I think this is, you can look at it as his last shot. This is his sixth team in his like fifth year in the National Hockey League, he's looked really, I mean, immensely, uh, <coughs> he looked fantastic in preseason, and DJ Smith, the Sanders' new head coach, uh, has deployed Anthony Duclair on the penalty kill, and he scored two or three penalty shorthanded goals in the preseason. This kid has a great speed, great skill, and this could be a breakout year for Anthony Duclair. Keep a close eye on for him. Tyler Ennis acquired in free agency from the Leafs, John gabriel Pajot, 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 we all know John gabriel Pajot, Bobby Ryan, uh, Scott Sabrin, the native of Orleans, Ontario, just in Ottawa, joined the Sanders training camp on a professional tryout agreement and finished it with a one-year two-way deal. He's made the Sanders opening night roster, one of the biggest surprises in the National Hockey League this year so far. He's going to be playing an opening night game on Wednesday, and uh, DJ Smith, Pierre Dorian, they like him. Uh, it is, regardless if you like him or not, or regardless if you're against the idea of him getting a roster spot, it is a remarkable story. Seven years in the minors, never played a game in the National Hockey League. Now he's cracked the roster of his home team. His home childhood team, the Ottawa Sanders, he's going to play against the child, his childhood team's biggest rival, well, arguably biggest rival, the Toronto Maple Leafs, so that's a remarkable story, and congratulations to Scott Sabrin, you've, you've earned it in the eyes of the Sanders management, and I'm excited to see what you can do. Chris Turney, uh, Brady Kachuk, obviously, and Colin White, so this team, not going to be a cup contender, we're going to get to that later, but they have some. They have some guys that can have breakout seasons, in my opinion. And on the defense is where it gets interesting. Mark Borjevski obviously makes the team. Eric Brenster makes the team out of training camp. I'm excited to see what he can do with a longer look in the National Hockey League. His first hockey and uh, National Hockey League action, like in the regular season, will be this year. I hopefully he plays opening night. I don't see why not. And I really want to see how he does. He's apparently right now paired with Ron Hainsey, and. Um, We'll see how that goes. Uh, after that, it's Tom Shabbat, fresh off that eight-year contract extension. Dylan DeMello. Cody Gullibeth is the seventh defenseman. Uh, we'll get to why he's the seventh defenseman in a second. Ron Hainsey and Nikita Zaitsev acquired uh, from Toronto. The goaltenders are Craig Anderson and Anders Nilsson. Now, like I said, that's the opening night roster. That's the 24-man roster. But notable cuts, Vitaly Abramov, Logan Brown, Christian Yaros, etc. Yaros was sent down because... They, I guess they believe he needs to work on more of his defensive game. I thought he looked okay. However, um, I think the Sanders management figured, let's put Yaros in the AHL, give him top minutes in a top four position there on a Calder Trophy contending team instead of giving him bottom line minutes here. That's why Gullabeff is the seventh defenseman. They probably just didn't see a spot for Yaros. Uh, Logan Brown, they're doing a slow... Um, 
paced development with him. Uh, he wasn't that noticeable in the preseason, and four years after being drafted 11th overall, people are starting to get a little wary on him. However, I still think he has great potential, and I'm sure at some point this season he will be in the National Hockey League, and I, I expect this year that he will be a mainstay in the lineup at the end of the year, and next year, next season, he will be on the opening night roster. And at Vitaly Abramov, I'm shocked he did not make the team. He looked good in the preseason, but just helps Belleville contend for that trophy down there. Now, the expectations for the season, we all know that the goal of this season for a lot of standards is to tank for Lafreniere. Uh, Alex Lafreniere is a projected number one overall draft pick. He is supposed to be a generational talent as well. There's Quinton Byfield and many others in the one to five slot. The Sanders could would be very privileged and blessed to get. So yes, the expectation this year is to tank. However, even though it's a lost season, a tanking season doesn't mean there's things to not cheer for, look for, or be excited for. Firstly, I want to see how Brady Kachuk improves. Uh, 44, 45 points last year, I believe, uh, in 70-something games. That's very good. Uh, and now I just want to see if he can get maybe to that 50 or 60 point plateau. Uh, I want to see him dominate play. He gained 25, 20 pounds in the summer. I want to see how he can do. Colin White, I'm interested to see, fresh off that big contract extension, six years. Let's see if he can become the top-line center for the Sanders this year. There's many others. I want to see Drake Batherson. What can he do? Um, he, he looked good when he was with Matt Duchesne, but after Matt Duchesne got traded, he kind of fell off and then went back to Belleville and dominated down there. So I'm really hoping he takes a big leap forward and gets... I'm not saying he's going to get a huge point season, but I expect him to get a notable amount of points. Um, and I, I really expect his development to... The skyrocket this this season. He's going to get a lot of opportunities. I I assume anyway on a young uh, like on a, a team like the Sanders, he should get ex- lots of opportunities if he deserves them. And yeah, I think Batherson's going to have a great year. Now my only question on defense, Shabbat, we know we know everything. I'm looking at Eric Brandstrom. I want to see what he can do. I want him to get second line power play minutes. I want to see if he can drive the puck. I want to see how he controls the puck. I want to see how his skating looks because in the preseason he looked a little slow. However, it is preseason, so let's see what happens when the game action really starts. He is undersized too, so I just want to see his skill translate to the top level and um, my expectations for Eric Branstrom's season. I think he's going to be up and down. I'm not expecting um, a breakout year for Eric Branstrom this year. Uh, he's going to be a great defenseman in my opinion, but I think this year for Eric Branstrom, I'm expecting more of a developmental year where there's some mistakes and some highs and lows. Uh, at the end of the day, I think he's Going to gain some confidence and develop very well this year. I just think it's not going to be to the expectations as everyone's thinking. I think next year is a year where Eric Branstrom really has his breakout campaign and makes his name much more well-known in the National Hockey League. Uh, so the first game, like I mentioned before, is against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, that one is at 7 p.m. Eastern Time Wednesday at the Scotiabank Arena. The Craig Anderson is likely going to start. Uh, that's what DJ Smith said today. And Scott Sabrin will be in the opening night, uh, night roster to make his National Hockey League debut. So, you know, hopefully we beat the Leafs. We, we have a knack to be in the Leafs. We beat them both times in the preseason. We beat them numerous times in the regular season last year. And let's see if Shabbat can score a beautiful goal. Let's see if Brady Kachuk gets into their head as well. This is the first time we're going to see Cody Ceci in regular season action. And Connor Brown, Nikita Zaitsev, Ron Hainsey, and Tyler Ennis all return to Toronto, so I don't know if there will be tributes or not. I'm sure Connor Brown or something will get a tribute, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see. So I'm very, very excited for Sanders hockey to be back underway. The NHL season is underway in two days. Let's take the last day, take a deep breath, and get ready for a long six to seven months of Sanders hockey. I've obviously, videos will be coming in on the daily after every single game. And maybe if there's breaking news, of course, we will upload as well. Um, but this season is going to be a fun one. Unlike last year, there's hope. We have Shabbat signed for an eight-year deal. Colin White, six-year deal. Brady Kachuk, he's ready to dominate. We have the first. We have two first-rounders. Numerous picks in, in the 2020 draft this year. This season is going to be a fun one. I hope a lot of our young guys like Batherson, Branstrom, etc. get a lot of de- development and improve. I expect to see Logan Brown in the NHL at some point in the season. And I expect the Sanders to hopefully draft, well, knock knock on wood, but hopefully they will draft first overall and take the the true generational winger that we've needed for a very long time. So besides that, I'll see you Wednesday night after the Sanders take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you then. So thank you for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. For the updates of the games and, of course, breaking news, please like us on Facebook at SenseTalk. Add us to the circles on Google Plus SenseTalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like the video, 
share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website, sensedogcentral.com. We update that every single day. And of course, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app on the App Store and use the promo code SENSEDOCK to save $20 off your first purchase. I'll see you Wednesday night after Game 1 of the 2019-20 season is underway as the Sanders will take on the Toronto Maple Leafs at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you then. Go Sens go.